Okay, so remember, um, here's the here's the first thing I want to point out, and I want to show you um, how the olive bait works um, from the olive to the letter hay in the, in this order. And I want I'm, I'm going to use the the modern Hebrew for this so that you can visualize uh, the the order of walking in the direction that it's going. Okay, so let's make this real easy, real easy, okay? We know we got the aloof, okay? So we got the aloof, and everything's going that direction. It's going from right to left, because the letter hey, it means left-handed. See, and I'm left-handed. And Ehud was a left-handed uh, prophet. And he hid his sword, his zane, on his left side. So when the guards um, checked him for weapons, they checked his right side and not his left side. And so he went into the chambers privately with a fat king. He was obese. And when he got into the chambers with the fat king, um, he took his dagger out and he stabbed him in his bosom and his stomach. And he bled out and died in there privately. You see, then Ehu jumped out the window and went and took the flag and he raised the banner and raised the flag and won the war for the Yashrio, the Yashrilites. <laughs> kind of wild, ain't it? And it was all done in secret. By the time he already got out the window and got the banner and raised the flag, the one the war was won. And it was all done in the secret chambers. Because you see, we have some uh, areas in our life that Yahuwah hides his weapons within us. And it's not always in the obvious. So let me show you how the direction of this goes. The aloof, it goes aloof, abides in the bait, okay? And it comes out as the gomal, the messenger, rock, okay? In the flesh. He's in the flesh in the bait. He's in the flesh as the gamal. As the camel. Messenger. Now watch this. And he's going to preach. To the Dalit. This is a man. This is his body, and he's facing that direction, the backside of the man, the backslid man, the man that doesn't want to look toward Yahusha. And he's preaching to the backside of man that don't want to face Yahuwah. <laughs> to be revealed for the window of Hashemayim, the rock to pour out. You remember my, you remember my story uh, in my teaching on um, Yochanan and he was preaching and he said, yes, this is, this is the order. Because when Yochanan baptized Yehusha, the windows of the Hashemayim poured out. You see, this is the exact order. Everything flows. It was all waiting right here. Now, I'm going to erase this board, and I'm going to I'm going to go through some things and show you how the words, uh, like we were speaking and talking about today on my lunch break, um, uh, the things at the end of the words. You see, at the end of the the fivefold ministry here, 
it was waiting. The Hashemayim, the, the loof, was waiting to be poured out the window. He's here, but he's waiting there. He's already there. Okay. We're going to learn how to build some mortars real quick. Now, we're going to use the word yash, which I, I've used I've used the word yash whenever I did the teaching on uh, Yochanan. And he said, yash, and this is when Yahushua was the, said, he said, there's the lamb. And it was coming because yash means this is. But it also means to exist. See, that's the whole word of Yahuwah is Self-existing. Now, we're going to go through the concordance here. Put my nerd glasses on, and um, I'm going to show you how some of this works. So, we got the word yesh. See, yod shin it means to exist. It's yash, not yesh, not with an e. It's still yash, yod shin, yosh. Yash, Yahshua, Yahusha, Yash. It may not have the, the hay in it yet, but it's still pronounced with Yah. The Yud is still the Yah. Because Yah, Yud is the Dalit. The door, Dalit's up here. Well, where's the, the hay is in the word Shin. So the S is at before the H. Yash, it, it, it's all there. It, it, it's, it's building, it's all there. Okay, so then we got Yashup. Yud, Shin, Yud, Shin, Bay. okay? Yud, Shin, Bay. Now, let me give you some definition of this because this means this is, and this means uh, to exist. So we got Yashab, which is, it's a prime root also. It means to sit down in judgment or ambush. You see, Ehud ambushed the king in his secret chambers. He's judging this king for living unrighteously. The bait in the flesh, the hand of Yahushua, which is the fire of the rock, was in Yehud, Ehud, the bait of the flesh. And he took him out secretly, ambushed him in his own secret chambers. Okay, so now, it says to, to, to dwell and to remain. You see, Yahusha dwells, the aloof, remember? Dwells in the bait. Watch. It means to settle or to marry. Well, who's being married? Yash. When well, Yochanan said, Yash. That means this is, he's coming for his bride because he's the bait. He's coming for his bride because he's in the flesh. The bait. To establish, to live in a habitation. Now, let's go to the next letter because if you look Yad Shin Beit Aleph. Uh oh. We've got the Aloof. And then another Beit. 
Now, what did I tell you this morning about a double bait? Watch. A double bait means one bait for Yahusha and the other bait for us because the bait really means flesh because we're the temple. Now watch. It's a seat of his father. A seat of his father. Now, Yoshub is to marry, bring again, place, remain, return, seat, sit, sit down, sit down, be still. Place, take, or to tarry. You see, when Yahushua told the disciples, the apostles on the day of Pentecost, he said, tarry and wait on me. He said, you're waiting on me and you. Or you are waiting on me because I am coming as the comforter, the Rachel Kadesh. It's a double bait. One for him and one for us. So this morning studies was this morning studies was to um, end them. You see? But your canon said this is. Now, wrong. 12 minutes. Let's move ahead. Yashub Yashub, let's see, Yashub Yak. Okay, so we're going to put a check in this. Yashub, take the umlif out, and put an A. Okay, so take the double B out. Yah, Shin, Be, Chet. Chet means fist in, separation. Watch. It means from the act part of 3427, uh, where the preparation and the art interposed, sitting in the seat. <laughs> also, come down here. It says, uh, he will praise. Okay? Praise. You see, we can't give Yahushua praise till we get within his garden area. Because Adam and Eve quit praising when they were banished. They only praised in the garden. If you really study what happened, the husband and wife praised in the presence when his hand was in them. But you take the gut out between the, and the hay out between the husband and the wife, and you, you've got a divorce. You've got nothing bonding and holding and keeping you together. You have no fire in you. There's no zeal. All you're doing is lust. There's no love between the two because you can't love each other. You can only really love each other through Yahushua because that's who you're loving. Yashem Yah. Yasha, yeah, take the hay out. Yeah. Shub. Okay. Okay. And another yaw. Yad. Okay. Yashab yad. Now. This means a returner of bread, of le lechem. The text should be pointed. Yahushua said, I am the bread and the light. You see, we've got a double yud. We, we really don't know what everything is until we understand what Lechem really 